a uh, discretionary election. This is not uh, about the kind of a world we might be. This is whether we are going to have a world or not going forward in the future. I can't believe how beautiful you all are and how powerful we all are. This is what democracy looks like. It's for the people. That's a truthfully why I chose her since 2012, because she's for the people. She's for planet. I'm very grateful that Jill Stein actually exists, so, as well as uh, Bernie, because they gave me a little bit more faith in the U.S. country as a whole and the changes to come. The urgent time, right? This We don't really have, like, generations anymore to accomplish what it is that we are working to accomplish. We have to do it. We have to do it now. It's, a, it's an urgent. This is, I think, I consider this a life or death election. We do not have the ability and the time to play games. We cannot make any decisions based on fear because if we make the decisions today based on the fear of what might happen over the course of the next four years, what's going to happen in the next 20 years, it's going to be so much more devastating yeah. to this entire planet. We absolutely have to fight tooth and nail for what is right. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is not anything to play with. It's not just our grandchildren's future. It's our children's future and it's our own future. It is the future of civilization that is in our hands right now. It is our hands. Our hands. It's nobody else's. We have to take ownership. And it is time to end police violence. <laughs> to make sure that we not only demilitarize our police, but we create citizen review boards that have the power of subpoena yeah. and the power to hire and fire. Yeah. So that communities once again will be in control of their police, not have the police in control of the community. Yeah. It was very inspiring to meet with the uh, Black Lives Matter community that is um, living in, sitting in, occupying outside of City Hall, saying that it's time to, to really speak to the, um, the families of the victims, and it's time to stop the killing. Three 18-year-olds just in the last month alone uh, who've been basically killed at the hands of police. And the LA um, Police Department has holds the record right now for the most number of uh, murder victims at the hands of police, yet you have the department that has said that every one of these deaths is so-called within policy, that the policy permits these deaths, which is just a horrific thing to say. I also learned that 50% of LA's um, municipal budget is being spent on this occupying police force when spending that money instead, a portion of that money, on prevention, on, uh, on recreation, on after after school programs, on enrichment programs, on youth development um, would prevent this problem from growing out of hand in the first place. An ounce of prevention is worth, um, you know, a, a pound of cure, but in this case it would be worth lives that are being lost just um, without cause and without justification. And it was very sad to go up there and find that once again the mayor was missing in action. As I understand, he's been missing in action for the last, what is it, 50 days now, 51 days, that he's really not come down down to speak with the families to um, address their concerns and I very very much stand in support of this community that's saying enough is enough they need a new beginning they need a clean sweep with a new uh, chief of police we are going until we prevail for people for planet for peace over profit this is the world we can create, an America and a world that works for all of us because we are on one small boat and we will sink together or we will sail together. I think we are sailing together and this sail has just begun. We are so incredibly blessed to have each other to be discovering each other as family, a family that knows no bounds,
that will continue to grow across this nation and across this world with the incredible vision and passion that you have brought to it. I am so endlessly inspired by what you are doing and what we are doing together. I urge you to stay networked, stay with us as we expand. You are the unstoppable organizing force, if ever there was one, and we will continue to converge. Whatever form your organizing is taking, we will all keep coming together, and we will come together on election day and deliver an inspiration and a transformation that no one would ever have imagined. Yes. However far we get, we will keep going. Whether we are in the White House, we will turn the White House into a greenhouse. I think in this race we're seeing, you know, Donald Trump, you know, was created by the media. You had the president of one of the media uh, conglomerates saying that, well, he may not be good for America, but he sure is good for our bottom line. You know, that really kind of summarizes it, that um, the media has become sort of the arbiter of our elections. Since when do our elections belong to the big corporate media that's given $4 billion worth of free advertising for Donald Trump, $2 billion worth of free advertising for Hillary Clinton, and the American people uh, are off the charts uh, with their distrust and their dislike of these candidates. It's outrageous that corporatized media has caused this disaster of an election. And my hope, you know, is that we will come out of this election as a very strong movement, whether we are in the White House or whether we are sitting in the White House or are sitting in outside of the White House, that we're going to break up these media conglomerates and that we're going to start using antitrust laws so that we can restore real media. I think real media is now in the hands of independent media. And I can't tell you what a breath of fresh air it is to be talking to uh, independent media that's actually thinking about what's going on, that really knows the score, that really understands what the real issues are. The issues are not, you know, Hillary and Donald having a contest over who is the bigger crook, you know, who is the greater corporate tool, who's the bigger racist. You know, this is so outrageous that we have this concocted news cycle right now that has nothing to do with what the American people are actually struggling with. So I say, you know, kudos to you, hats off to you, independent media. Keep up your work, and uh, we are getting stronger as a social movement. I mean, just look who turned out here with just a couple of hours uh, worth of notice. We are a very powerful movement. We are unstoppable, and free and independent press uh, is absolutely critical to our future. Thank you for all you're doing. That is your power and our power liberated from a political party like the other one. They're both funded by corporate interests, by lobbyists, by super PACs. The Green Party is the one national party that is not corrupted by that stuff. We have the unique ability to stand up and be of, by, and for the people. Not the money, but the people. I think right now the most important thing is to open the floodgates uh, for democracy and ensure that we have open and inclusive debates. Um, and I encourage people to participate in our open debates um, uh, campaigns right now. We may, you know, we have something like, how many did I hear? 90,000? How many people are signed on to our? 90,000. 90,000 people are now signed on to our petition for open debates. We hope to, you know, increase that exponentially and then go deliver it to the this fraud of a commission on presidential debates and give them a sign of what's to come. The American people are not going to go quietly into this dark night and allow our democracy to be suppressed at a time when we are facing all-out crisis on the climate, on the war, on student debt, on nuclear weapons, you name it. This is not an election that we're just going to sit back and be dictated to when black lives are on the firing line, when there is a crisis of immigration, we need to stand up now and we need to be able to have an inclusive, healing, 
uh, truthful democratic conversation to talk about what are the real issues and how we can fix them. We need to take back this power, this promise of our democracy, and opening the debates is a really critical way to begin. There is no exiting from the revolution. This is a way of life. other. Our lives depend on this democracy. Our lives depend on opening up this debate and opening the floodgates of political revolution. If, if we can tell the truth, the truth will be unstoppable as we are unstoppable together. The power the power to create this world is not just in our hopes and it's not just in our dreams. Right here and now, it's in our hands. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Thank you so much. Whenever you're watching this, it is the most important time for you to get involved because there's a revolution happening and the entire world is at jeopardy. Let me tell me how it is. Come down How did this If I gotta pick one of the other, really gotta be her? Hillary, a Trump, the establishment, or a punk got me both for who I feel as I vote for who I want, and I get it. Cut politics is a little bit compromised. Mixed with empty promises, trickle with blatant lies. But why? Sacrifice always fall on the people's side. Surprise! Not this time. I refuse to fall in line. Fall in line. You don't get my vote because I'm both for your side. Hillary don't get me moving, cause I'm choosing to be a slave I feel the revolution, cause it's a bit corrupted I know they don't really want it Treat it 99% while they don't want out of a hundred I know you know what's right, you should fight for what you wanted Or at least bring the light to the pillar games that we've done it They can just take us by a way to back and cheer and charge it Has he even called Trump a con artist? What do we do now that we found out that we've been chipped last exodus From the DMC and Jews from being chipped I refuse to fall in line from the ruins. Ha! Now is the time for your time to shine. Everybody got their reason and all the shit with your mind. Educated, intelligent, passionate, and kind. And a powerful leader. Leads from the front line. She's for help the students, but forgive the student debt. She's against the TV because it's what she represents. She's for a dream and she'll need millions of jobs. Protecting the environment for our children, stop getting robbed. She's for it in the war. Her job's because it's a factor. It's not because I'm still black lives. I'm still running about some money. I had to take a Yeah. <laughs>